All right, whoever ponders, uh, oh, if you look deeply into there's uh, in, in the Talmud, so there's the main Talmud. If you ever open a page of the Talmud, so you'll see that in there's the thick writing in the middle. That's what's called the Mishnah and the Gomorrah. And then there's a small writing on the inside of the page near the binding, that's Rashi. And on the outside is what's called Tosfot. Tosfot are additional commentaries, which are done by, a lot of them were in fact the, 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 the grandchildren of Rashi. Great people, and they, okay. If you look at the Tosfot in the Gemara and Shabbat, where it talks about the giving of the Torah, you'll understand that the festival of Shavuot is a very, very special time in the upper worlds. On that day, it says God silences the accuser of Israel. Something like him silencing the, the accuser, the devil, during the shofar sounding on Rosh Hashanah or on the fast of Yom Kippur. It says that on Yom Kippur, for some reason my nose itches, I can't figure this out. So it says, when, when the shofar is sounded, that's a perfect time to request from God what you want. Because usually you request from God what you want. And you say, you know, God, please, you know, I need the uh, $10 for Shabbos. And all of a sudden the accuser comes and says, one second, who, look who's asking God for this. Remember that they, you said something bad about a person, you got angry, you got this. So all the accusing right, uh, things that you did in your life come to disturb you. So, but and, and it says that when the shofar is sounded, there's no disturbances, and also Yom Kippur does not. Well, the fact is, is on the holiday of Shavuot, this Friday is the same thing. The whole entire day is a day when prayers are answered without any supernal <coughs> uh, interference. Let's see. Go. Stop the shit.